Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a floss tube video for you today. Um, and my floss tubes are a little different. I don't work on a lot of projects at once and I usually introduce some other crafty things that I've been doing but I wanted to share with you. So we'll get started. Uh, today I have one work in progress. I put the other one away. I'm not, it's just not exciting for me right now. I'll get back to it. I have two little finishes and I have some per uh, purchases and yeah. Oh, and some, hi, Alex, and some freebie charts I wanted to show you for plans. So first off, I, was working on my Christmas Kringles. It's just, I'm not into Christmas stitching right now. So I put it on the back burner and I started this chart right here. It's Modern Folk Embroidery and it's called I Am No Bird and it is from Jane Eyre, um, 1847. And it says, I am no bird and no net ensnares me. I am a free human being with an independent will. And I thought, okay, hi, Alex. I thought that was appropriate for the times right now. Um, this is a pretty big chart, not huge, um, but it is 193 wide by 193 high. So it will be a square and I'm gonna have it framed as such. So I'm working on this. And here's where I got started. I just started it over the weekend. So right here, it's six pages. So this is the corner. I start mine in the bottom left. And this is page four. So I have this corner of the border. And I'm telling you, I know it's supposed to be a flower, but all I see is a crab. Uh, 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 uh. and a little Florida leaf thing and the word Jane and then this is the start of the house and then Jane will go right here so I got a pretty good pretty good go at it this weekend um the fabric is from Evertote I talk about Caroline all the time but this is fabric from Evertote it's called peanut brittle I'm not sure if she has it in the shop right now um, this piece actually came with a kit that I bought, but I didn't want to do that project on something this dark, so I switched it up. It is 32 count, and as always on my floss tubes, the link will be in the description box. And this floss is from Leo and Roxy, which is also sold through Evertote, and I got the pattern from Evertote as well. And... This is called Inappropriate Red, and I'm loving it. I just love the way it looks. And Sarah, my niece, informed me that it was an interesting choice of floss because Jane Eyre doesn't like red. I said, well, I'm sorry. Apparently she had the original Red Room of Pain. Fifty Shades has nothing on Jane Eyre. So, this is what I've been working on. I started this Saturday or Friday night. I, I think Friday night. Yes, I started Friday night. And this is what I've gotten done. So not too bad. Um, I did get some questions. This plastic thing is called a Q-snap. And it holds your fabric. Oh, there's my needle just flying in the wind. And these are called smart, smart cords. Oh, excuse me. Let me go check on them. Okay, I'm back. They were wrestling and Wellington wasn't too happy about that. So I'm not even sure where I left off, but I know I was showing you this and talking about the the um, what I used to hold my floss on. And these are great. And also, I didn't know if I said this, but these are stretchy. So you can get them pretty tight. Magnets are great. Okay. Did I show you the floss? I don't think I did. So I'm keeping it in my Evertotes bag that I got at the retreat. And I will show you the floss just in case, but this is called Inappropriate. And this is, um, will take seven cards of floss, I believe. So I have this color and it's, it's better back here. It's not as bright as it's showing online. It is a nice dark red, and I love it. And it's dyed by Leo and Roxy. 
and it's sold exclusively through Evertotes, which is um, where I buy most of my stuff anymore. And there's eight yards on here. So when you're doing, okay, honey, let's get down, but thank you. Oh yes, oh yeah, good job. Um, when you're buying floss, it's not like DMC floss. You wanna always pay attention to how many yards you're getting. So this yardage is eight yards, which is a standard DMC skein, but some dyers are selling five yards, some are selling three yards, it just really depends. Some had 10 yards. It just depends on the dyer, so you always want to know so you can calculate how much floss you need. Um, you know, I, I've made the mistake on my Nevermore and I didn't pay attention. He's scratching me. Uh, Weeks Dye Works, I believe, is the company that is five yards and I didn't buy enough floss. So, And because it's all hand dyed, it, the, this type of floss is all hand dyed, it's better, I think to buy it all at one time because you're gonna more likely to get the same batch of floss. So batch to batch, because it's a science, it can all be different. Just saying, ouch, sir. I don't know why he's being mean today, but he's being mean today. Um, okay, so I have some finishes. I finished a couple things. I can't show you this pattern, but here it is. It is called Stitched for a Friend with My Heart in My Hand, and it was a free gift in our, um, or a freebie chart in our, um, okay, all right, come on, come on, at the retreat that I was at in Canada last year, and I'm just getting, okay, come on. You want to say hi. Okay, here we go. Okay, now what, this is, this was the yeller. Okay. I don't know what you want, buddy. He's been wanting outside a lot right now. We're just gonna get him some treats. I'm not even gonna turn off the radio, turn off the channel or the video. I'm just getting the boys some treats. I'm not sure why we're so hungry today, you two. There. And then I'll bring these over in case I need them. Okay, sorry about the interruption. <laughs> So back to the chart. It is was a free chart by Brennan Needle had given it to us with this flaw with this fabric, which I really enjoyed stitching with. I'm getting out my notebook that I keep all my projects in currently. Okay, stitch for a friend. It's 28 count T and Towtons or Totons, T O W T O N S. It's got a nice variegation. There's a little bit of like a pink in here and this blue, and it's really soft fabric. I did two stitches over two threads, and I also used the fat, the floss that we were given, and I don't know if they were colors. Yes, they are. Brennan Needle, and the floss colors were ochre dark, and the red is drop of jam. So these red and black. And they were wonderful to work with. And we got like a little sampling, a couple yards of each to try and the fabric. And we were even given a needle to try, you know, to use. And then this free chart. And I'm sure it will become available through Darling and Whimsy. Um, for personal use only, do not reproduce or resell this pattern in any way, shape, or form. Thank you for respecting my rights as an artist. So I'm not sharing it, but check the site Darling and Whimsy. So this was a finish that I need to take care of. And my other finish is by the Primrose Cottage Stitches and it's Be Nice or Buzz Off. And I used all the called for color except for, the only thing I didn't do was put the hearts in the little honeycombs. I just didn't think it needed it for me. Um, and it is all DMC floss. And I did this on 32 count Belfast that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And I'll tell you the Belfast, it's nice to stitch with. It's a little thicker or stiffer than the other fabric. But I did it with all the called for, exactly as called for, except for I didn't put the hearts here. And I will finish this somehow when the mood strikes me. I love these little bees. Look at them. Aren't they everything? So that's fun. And now when I say count, 
28, 32, that's how many threads per inch, if you aren't familiar, because I know a lot of my regular viewers watch these channels. So there are 32 individual threads per um, inch. And if you were thinking like Ada cloth, this would be considered like the equivalent of a 16 count Ada. So it's a little smaller. The higher the number, the smaller the stitches, and it's a little smaller than a 14 count Ada. I stitch on 32 count a lot, although I think I'm moving up to 36 at some point. But this was finished, um, this pattern, and I have another one to start. Okay, this took me three days. I started on July 6th, and I finished on the 9th. And I started this on the 9th, and I finished it on the 15th. Also working on my temperature chart, which I forgot to bring up here. That's always a work in progress. Uh, and make sure I got the I Am No Bird. I started on the 15th. And it's 32 count peanut brittle by Leo and Roxy. And I got the floss accurate as well. So that's kind of all of my stitching. Now these patterns will end up in the... These are all the charts that I have finished. So these are the projects I've completed and I just keep them in here for now until I figure out what to do with them. I may pass them along. I just need to figure that all out. Okay, while we're still talking about stitching, here, I got this at the Dollar Tree, guys, and it is a, it's like a folder, but these are all the charts that I've printed off. And I want to show you some that I want to do next. So this was off of Pinterest. Somebody printed it. I think it's, or uh, put it out there. I think these are old. This one here it came from Halloween of Just Cross Stitch. Um, and this I think was a freebie pattern. And it says Hocus Pocus on it. I mean, good luck trying to recreate these. But I just look around for free patterns to make these little tiny things. But my favorite is from Tiny Modernist. And I cannot wait to stitch this for Thanksgiving. And it just says, give thanks. And it's just a little turkey. And I will do my own coloring. But I found these, oh, and here, this is also from the Tiny Modernist, and it says Autumn. And these were all just freebie charts, and I have them situated in here by season. So I have, like, just standard teas and coffees, nothing seasonal about these, some bees and stuff like that. And then on the next page, I have... Halloween, and then I have like autumn, fall, Thanksgiving, I have Christmas, and then I have my British that I need to do, and I was, oh, I was gifted this by Devet. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to start on this. Um, I need to get these colors of green, and it's just a reproduction of a stamp, and this will go with my um, British my Queen Elizabeth little stitches that I do. So that's coming up shortly. And then I found a free chart. Oh, I think I was given this. Yeah, we were given this. I can't show it to you. Um, from Gita's. So you might want G-I-T-T-A apostrophe S. And they do have a website and they may have that as a freebie chart, but it's a Biscorn U with a Canadian maple leaf that I want to stitch soon. So there's that. So these are some of the upcoming little things. I didn't, these were all free charts. Um, I didn't purchase any of those, I just printed them. Okay. Oh, and then I bought, I don't know if I showed you this, the 28 count. I bought this from Joanne online. I did an order, which I'll show you what I bought, but this was, um, like seven dollars. It's very stiff, but I want to practice my dyeing because I love dyeing fabric, and so I don't want to buy expensive fabric to dye. So this is twenty-eight count, which is the equivalent of a fourteen count Ada. Um, but it has like 
uh, what does it have on it? Starch. It's been starched. So I will rinse it in my sink, probably with a little like Miss Dr. Bonner's soap to get the starch. Oh, okay. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Thank you. Some Dr. Bonner's soap. Get the starch off and then I will... Did he just turn my computer off? No. Then I will dye it. And I don't know what color yet. Maybe some other ones. This is a big piece of fabric. Um, it is 20 inches by 24 inches. That's pretty decent size on that. So I have that. Now, I'm going to clean up this stuff and then I'm going to bring out the things that I purchased. Okay, I'm back. I also had a phone call. Okay, here's the stuff that I purchased and or crafted. We'll start with crafting. So I have these little six by six papers, um, scrap of paper that I picked up in Canada at um, Dollarama. I got Sarah a set as well. And you get 12 sheet, 24 sheets and 12 different designs. And this is pretty heavy paper. Um, doesn't say the pound or the weight, but it's pretty heavy scrapbook paper that I picked up two packages of different ones to use. And I saw this on Pinterest. It's like a diamond, it's origami. I'm gonna untie it and show you, but it's all just folded, one piece of six by six folded paper. And I was looking at like doing different gift boxes. Oh, here, I'll cut it. Different gift boxes for Christmas time. And this came up. It is a ornament but it can also hold a gift. You can put a little candies or something. And the lady said, if you trim here, it will get you, um, it'll hold bigger stuff. So it's just origami and it's just, so there's room inside to put little treats or little treasures. This is out of a six by six sheet of paper folded. And there was also, she did one out of eight by eight paper and one out of 12 by 12. And I thought this was so fun to do and so easy, just a bunch of folds. And then I went around and hole punched it so I can tie them together. And that's what I had this just tied on it to hold the top together. So you can make ornaments or little treasures to hold the little gifts, like an advent or something. I thought that was super fun. So I made that. And then I also saw on Pinterest, different pins for my pin cushion. So I bought some smaller pins that I'm gonna use polymer clay, but these I purchased, these are like your hat pin or like a lapel pin. They're pretty long and these ones have a ball on the point. Instead, some of them have a hook, a hook, but you could dangle something. But I liked these with the ball and I got 20 of them for like, I think $10. And then I bought these beaded bead sets and I just put them on here and used some E6000 glue to make pins. So that is your, this one is their um, dragonflies. And then these were also a beaded kit that I saw that are pumpkins. Aren't those fun? And it's literally just the pin, a small bead to hold it and this metal bead and then I E6000 them, and these came in on the thing in different color metal. So I made a couple of those. Actually, I made four of those because my friend here will want one of those. And then I have these in my beading stash, and they're just little penguins. So fast, so easy. And I just turned them upside down. I slid all the beads on, and then when I and put the bottom so they didn't come off, and I was ready to glue. I just put some E6000 and then I took, you know, the little um, Dollar Tree, the little clamps, but they're tiny ones. And I just clamped it to hold it real tight and let them dry overnight. So I'm going to make a bunch of these um, to take when I go to my retreat in Canada and share 
with other people because these are look really cute in a pin cushion. And then I'm gonna make um, the other ones with polymer clay. And of course I will show you those as well. I'm looking for the same one in gold. I'm, not, I'm only seeing the gold that has the hook at the top and not the um, ball. And I'm just storing them in there to keep. Then I did a really quick Joann's order. They were having this like super sale with free shipping and 20% off. So I ordered some thread. I grabbed two of these and these are 500 yard dual duty, all purpose, general use thread in like a natural color. And then I got one in black. Thread is always necessary because I sew. Um, I grabbed some more bobbins because they're necessary and I got a new sewing machine a new to me sewing machine it's an old one but it's all metal and I love it and I just want to get a fresh needle so I grabbed some fresh just all-purpose sewing machine needles and I feel like we don't talk about them but they do need to be switched out because they get dull and then when they get dull it doesn't sew well so I grabbed some of those um, I'm making a project for Sarah and I so I grabbed some d-hooks or d-rings um, I got them in black and gold you get four in each pack and these were all on like super markdown um oh and then i got also uh, this came in that order that i already showed you so the, this came with it and it was like twenty dollars maybe maybe twenty dollars but i need you know these are sewing things that you need okay now for i got my july leo and roxy floss co club floss if you haven't seen it yet and you are a member look away if you want to be a member the in my description box below the drop down is a link to their website and you too can sign up and get this floss and i will tell you i am loving stitching with this floss so the colors this month ready here we go is green thumb and it's a very it's not quite as bright as on here but oh i love green this is my floss pack because i'm all about the blue and green little green and this i will say feels very um sagey or sh mick shamrock shake it reminds me of a shamrock shake that kind of minty green and this green is called Teal of Fortune, so it's a more blue-green. Oh, how wonderful is that? I can't wait to stitch with these. And then the blues is Perry. Oh, that is everything. It's like a denim. And then Great Lakes, which almost looks, it's so blue, it looks black. It looks like a deep, deep, deep lake, one of the Great Lakes. So, so those are my five colors this month that I received from Leo and Roxy Floss Co. And they'll go in my stash. And then what I do is when I'm stitching a pattern and it says you need this color of DMC, I look at the color and then I say, ooh, but I have a better one in my Leo and Roxy. And then I go grab it. Or if you buy a Leo and Roxy conversion chart, these are fantastic. Here, I'll show you. So these need to get put away. Um, it is in Canadian dollars, and I believe I pay US $24 a month. They have, this is the Neutrals Club, or you know, more natural, and then they have a Brights, which I may add the Brights, we'll see. Then, then I made an order on the Fat Quarter Shop. So the Fat Quarter Shop, is a website and they sell stitching stuff, they sell fabric, uh, quilting supplies, all of that. Sorry, my computer was getting ready to beep at me. And they have all that kind of stuff. So I ordered this first set here, collection, and it is called Cheer and Merriment. And these are little two and a half inch squares and I think you get 42 of them. And I'll show you what I got them for. And then I got this to do the backing. 
I think that's big enough. I think it's a half a yard or I can use it for binding. But I also got this panel, these panels. This was $8, but look at all the panels that you get. You get those four and you get these four. And they're all Christmas themed. I am doing, this is the one I want. It's the most wonderful time of the year. So I'm gonna take this panel in the middle and then I'm gonna take these brick blocks and go around it. And then I'm going to do the background in something. I don't know. And these are all, these all coordinate together. So when I'm ready to put this Christmas quilt together and I think I want it big enough to be like a lap blanket. So I will probably have to go to Joanne and get some, I really would like this like minty color right here to be incorporated. I just think it'll be super fun. Um, and I may not have enough materials for a lap blanket, but I'll have enough for like a cat blanket or something. My boys love these. So I grabbed these three. Um, yeah, this is a half yard. So that will definitely not be big enough for a backing, but it'll be perfect for binding. Um, which, you know, everybody needs some binding in life, right? Yeah, this would be my quilt binding. So I'll have to go to, probably go to Joanne and find some coordinating fabrics, or I can go back online to and get some more to go with that. But these, this is what I ordered for right now from the Fat Quarter Shop. And then I got, so I've shown you this fabric before from this. This is La Vie Boheme by the French General. I love her fabrics. There's 42 squares in here and um, it's a bunch of different colors. I couldn't even tell you how many different patterns because I haven't opened it yet, but I think I can. Let's open it. And we're gonna make definitely something for the living room out of this. And I need to get a bigger, I know it sounds silly, but I have some cat beds in my living room and I need to get bigger um, blankets for them and the boys love them so there's they're very french provincial like old fashioned -y, the reds and the blues and then back here i mean these are so pretty i love these look at that that gray and blue is literally everything now up here i've got a couple bags that i made out of this which is why i wanted this and this is called a charm pack and they're five inch by five inch squares that I will put together. I need to also take this in and get some coordinating um, fabric. And I know I have some of this blue in my stash that I already ordered, this exact blue. So I'll probably use that for the binding on this one. I just have to dig it out. And then I went to Joanne and I think I got a yard of this, which is white on white. I use this a lot for lining fabrics to go inside my bags that I make. So I grabbed a yard of it. Um, it'll be used, because I will show you here in a second. But it was on sale and I had a coupon. So I'm like, all right, let's just get a yard of that to have on stash, because I'm going through my old fabrics. Excuse me. I'm going through my older fabrics and I'm gonna purge a bunch of the older stuff that I'm not using. And by purge, I don't mean throw away, I mean give away. And these are the new, apparently I'm really into these colors because these are all coordinating. I'm moving this stuff off my little table. Let me tell you, when you put a floss tube video together, it's all a mess, the whole thing. Okay. Then I ordered this fabric from Spoonflower. And if you're in the groups that I belong to for Stitch North, you know that in October of next year, um, they're having Jacob Palooza. And I bought this fabric because it is very Netherlands. You have the tulips and the bicycles and the windmills and all of that and the streets of the Netherlands. So I grabbed this fabric on Spoonflower. I have a half a yard. It will be used to make a project bag. I know, crazy, huh? But I want this project bag to take with me when I go 
to the retreat. So there's going to be some secret stitching. And once I have my spot reserved, I will create what I'm making with the exact information that I need. And you will see what I'm making out of this. I also need to go buy some, um, oh, my battery's running low. I also need to go buy some coordinating fabric. I think I want like a denim blue because I love this. And this is Delft blue, which is also very Netherland-esque. So I bought this on Spoonflower, actually through Amazon. But if you go to the Spoonflower website, they have a ton of patterns. And this is digitally printed fabric, which I think this is my first time using it. So it's, it's printed on one side of the fabric. So it's kind of why also you see, do you remember mimeographs? It feels very mimeograph to me. The old fashioned way to make copies when we were kids and they would come out hot and you could smell it. This feels very mimeograph to me. But I love it. And look at the details. Mm, perfect. So I grabbed that, ordered it. The rest of this stuff came from Hobby. No, lies. Came from Joanne. Um, I grabbed this fabric, which I love. This is, it's gingham or buffalo check on the diagonal, but it's very, it was in the Halloween section and I have some Halloween finishes that I'm going to back this with. So I just got a quarter of a yard, uh, because all my little projects are pretty small. So I grabbed a quarter of a yard of this, which I think will be perfect to back some projects in this niece. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, and then this is new this year, or I have not seen this fabric. This is Ohio State Buckeye fabric. So you have Script Ohio. That is the Ohio State Block O, the state. I love it. The polka dots. I think it's very fun. Um, and I will probably make something fun out of this, some type of project bag, I'm sure, or something but i grabbed a half a yard when i saw it because again it was on sale and when i go to retreats i like to have things that represent my state so i grabbed that and i think i'm gonna bot do bottom color with it with in black so the ohio state buckeye colors are scarlet and gray and they have black so this is scarlet gray and black and then that that's a buckeye leaf that looks like a pot leaf and that little thing right there's a buckeye and they're a poisonous nut so I grabbed that. Then this is for Sarah and I, and this is for a very specific project. Um, I'm making each of us a planner bag. So it's gonna hold our planners and there'll be the loops. That's why I got the D-rings for Ruth Bader Ginsburg fabric. And look at her earrings, this teal color and the women. And then I got for a coordinating accent this teal color and then also this fabric that has the teal but these are her collars that she used to wear over her robe so the three of these together are gonna make a bag for us and I cannot wait like I am so excited to put this bag together for us and I think it just is a well representative of Sarah and I. So, and Sarah's my niece, if I haven't said that a million times. So this, these fabrics all came in a set. There was other fabrics, but because of the sizes that I'm using, I needed the smaller. So these are definitely going together. And then this will get incorporated, even if it's just the lining or if it's just gonna be, um, it might be a piping situation. We'll see. But that is the fabric I picked up to make the bags for us. And that will hold my happy planner in it. Um, oh, I can tell you how, I think. Yes, I'll tell you how much I spent. Um, but that's going to be, and then I'm putting the D-ring and I'm making us the, the wristlets to hold our happy planners. Um, what I ordered from the Fat Quarter Shop, I got Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine, which I am I love, and I think I'm going to sign up for a subscription to that. The 5x5, five five, or the 5-inch charm packs, were $10.98 for one bundle. Um, the Cheer and Merriment, the mini charm pack, was $4.48. The Cheer and Merriment Winter Foliage Yardage 
was $5.74 for a half a yard. And then the Cheer and Merriment quilt panel was $7.98. So I paid $47.08 for all that fabric, which is not bad. It's really good quality fabric. Um, and sometimes it's, and I can tell the difference of the fabric between the Ruth Bader Ginsburg that I got at Joanne, which is, um, if you think about sheets and thread counts, it's the same with fabric. So your more expensive fabrics would be equivalent to like your 500, 800 thread count sheets opposed to some of the novelty fabric, which is like a 300 thread count. It's rough. It's rougher. If that makes sense. I mean, it's not as thick and sturdy. Everything has its place in life though. All right. I think I've babbled enough and taken enough breaks and this is going to be a lot of editing on this video, but I hope you enjoy and that you're liking my floss tube crafty business. I am working in my office. There's some stuff behind me. Oh, my little basket over here. I am getting ready to well, I have purged a lot and I have a little bit more to do and then I'm going to get painting in here. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.